had the opportunity to speak to Lakshma Gaud about this mural, the largest wall sculpture of his career. He mentioned that he was drawn to the idea of creating a toran or an entrance archway when he was looking for a subject. The work was cast in Jaipur in Thomas's studio using ceramic clay or chikni mitti and he's used various colored tones and hues to set apart the different layers in this work. What he's created, unlike the typical toran which has a Ganesh at the entrance, is his use of figures. It's suffused with many women. Four of the figures that we see are women. One is a male. On either side, you have one man and a woman. These are fairly totemic in the way they appear. However, they represent just the average householder, perhaps the residents of the house out to greet the guest. The central figure is a woman surrounded by vegetation, pretty much like an earth goddess. What he was hoping to capture was this entire sense of fertility in the countryside, something that he's always gone back to in terms of his drawings and his paintings. The figure and the surrounding vegetation looks at branches, looks at fruit, looks at flowers. It's multicolored in different tones to set it apart. Even the way he's created the eyes or the jewelry or the apparel in folds of clay showed his absolute mastery in terms of the medium. In terms of texturing, he used various kinds of materials to get the kind of designs and graphic quality on the clay surface itself. So whether he was using different kinds of cloth with texturing or paper, cardboard, etc., you can see that in various parts of the folds of the clay that he has used throughout the work. On the higher reaches of the mural, he wanted to bring in architectural elements. So you will see parts of pipes, or little parts of architectural structures, etc. Typical elements that would go into most house making in the Andhra countryside. One would suspect that a mural of this size would take a considerable amount of time to make. When I asked Lakshman Gaud this, he laughed and said he was a student of Manida, KG Subramaniam and had got into the habit of working very fast when working with clay. He said he had to work very fast in any case before the clay dried and then of course it would be sent into the kiln, hopefully without getting damaged. In the making of this mural, for example, he said no damage was caused to any part, but any sense of firing, scratches, etc. are something that have added to the visual quality of the work itself.